original idea was to come up with a way of dressing the foot, uh, a way of sensing the change, change in contact with the earth in a very simple sense, um, felt in another way by another person. And this one's about getting to understand yourself at a much deeper level. So the way that it works is that um, this is a little switch. I, it deals with foibles and eccentricities and what you do when you're nervous. And I tend to do this, which is pressing the sternum. And so when you press the sternum, you activate the switch, which sets off little solenoids, which just tickle you in the rib cage, which remind you what's happening and what you're doing. There's also a slightly unresolved external communication device, which are little tiny blue optic fibres, which if someone knows the language, a good friend might be able to help you out. So I initially set out in the proposal to come to this workshop uh, a project for a little portable sound world experience that was trying to look at um, frequencies within the air and I stuck with that and what I drilled that down to was trying to pick up on RF frequency in the non-GSM phone that our mobile phone ranges. It's a, a design that originally was to develop for patients who, who are suffering movement problems um, through a traumatic brain injury and that was the starting point for the, for the project. Um, the original design was a uh, hand bracelet to, or hand stirrup to wear that would sense uh, movement uh, of, the, uh, of the hand. Um, although the design was then adapted just to facilitate the grip. Uh, and it's designed to detect just the slightest amount of, of hand movement. Uh, yeah, we, I mean, the idea is to create invisible warmth, that's what we wanted to do. So and the two positive things are that we uh, have managed to achieve that. We have walked the circuit into the soft textiles, which we're really happy about, mm. and we've learned basic electronics. Yeah, positive things. The thing that didn't work out for us is the, the battery, battery issue. We never realised how much energy is required to power up um, a, a small 40 centimetre piece of um, heating wire. And our battery pack is incorporated into here using um, little car racing yeah. batteries. Um, the first half is that these are like little information nodes that when you're maybe at a party or you're maybe a business meeting, we would hand these out to people and they would capture information which would then be sent back wirelessly to another device. So like basically it was the idea that like four people, like in theory, could wear some necklaces, there would be a shared common area and it was the idea of getting the jewellery which would be close and intimate to the body and extending that personal space from a intimate single space into a shared space between a couple of people. And it's looking at just trying to look at ripple waves in some sort of liquid. The oil doesn't work if it's too viscous and maybe water will work and I'm going to put some in a second. But basically started off with necklace, very simple for me, very easy, safe factor. Um, has an LED on the back which you'll probably see tonight because that's about the best thing that's working. <laughs> it's very bright, very cool. So yeah, basically I'm using these flex sensors to do that. And um, so I've got the legs going. So this would be X, I guess. For me, um, some of the successful things were um, a redesign of the actual mounting for the sensor, which originally was running through a channel and, and was on the front of the knee, but I wasn't getting enough bend out of it. So, you know, mounting it on the side and having it fixed at both ends has allowed me to get the bend that I need out of it.